one of my favorite red varieties, and it's a nice red, is known as dynamite. And this dynamite here gets anywhere between 15 to 20 feet in height. Now, when you go to the garden store, you're gonna see so many crepe myrtles, you might not know which type to get. Well, crepe myrtles have, it's something like seven classifications. They have super dwarf, which might be two feet, maybe three feet in height, then they've got three to seven feet, then they got seven to 12 feet, 12 to 20 feet, some that will even get 40 feet. So it's important that you read the label and see what classification or how tall your crepe myrtle gets. I have people call me and uh, they ask, you know, my crepe myrtle won't get taller than seven feet. Well, that's the type of crepe myrtle you have. Now, this variety, Dynamite, has been thinned out. Lots of stems or beautiful stems that have been trained by limbing up every spring. And you could see through it, so it adds the space in the garden. I'm going to be quiet for just a couple seconds. You can hear all the honeybees that are on the flowers that are in front of me here. I'm going to show you a taller variety, one that will get 30 to 40 feet, and how to train that into a tree. Tonto, which can get 30 to 40 feet, is a beautiful pink variety of crepe myrtle. Now, I'm guessing this is 15 years old. And again, that's just a guess, could be a little older. And at a young age, a lot of crepe myrtles might produce one stem if you prune the others out, or in this case, nine stems. I like anywhere from seven to nine main stems. Every year you need to remove the suckers or the suckers are gonna make new stems. If you look at this beautiful crepe myrtle, probably many years ago in the early days of this plant, you can see some of the prunings that were made in the past. What Mike and Glenda did was remove all the side stems. And you can see here where this one was removed, this one was removed, this one was removed. So every year, the side young branches were removed probably with the shears, but sometimes you can almost just snap them off. And over time, these limbs have grown quite tall. And probably next year, this one here, right up here, will be removed. And maybe some of the other side branches will be removed. And by doing that, you've created these beautiful trunks that you can see through. And the advantage to seeing through these trunks is the background sort of disappears, but you can tell as a background. So this garden is tripled or the illusion of having a much larger garden by training these trunks here. So this defines the space where I'm standing. But then you look through and you can see more of a garden that disappears. So it looks like you're looking at acres of garden. Again, crepe myrtle are easy to grow in your own garden. Get the right size variety for where you're going to plant it. I'm Mark Viet. Join me next time In the Garden. For more garden tips, go to inthegardenradio.com.